The round's biggest crowd flocked to Victoria's Latrobe Valley, where John Markowski created havoc. Indeed, it took both sides quite a while to work to a rhythm, and it soon became evident the Falcons were missing the reliable defensive services of skipper Sean Parton. Markowski brought delight to Falcons fans when he outjumped a sea of players for the opening goal. The big Socceroo is showing some fine touches leading up to next week's internationals against Colombia. South Melbourne's equaliser arrived 60 seconds later. Ivan Kelich accepting a Mike Peterson deflection from a corner. But the Falcons weren't to be outdone. They carved out the better chances in the first half. Francis de Waratifi proved a handful, while Markovsky wasn't afraid to unload his lethal left foot strike. Although Vince Matassa at times in front of goal, Steve Morton was forced to do most of the stretching at the other end. The Falcons appeared to be on the road to victory as Marcus Sergiopoulos set up Claudio Canosa to put the home side 2-1 ahead shortly after the break. In a bid to preserve the lead, many Falcons defenders put their bodies on the line, while Markovsky was going about his business as usual. After recording four successive victories, it seemed South's run of luck was about to come to an end. But after toiling for most of the second half, the sought-after equaliser arrived 60 seconds into injury time. Ivan Kelic provided the final touch to a wonderful build-up. At 2 all, the Falcons entered their 10th shootout of the season. Despite all the practice, South Melbourne escaped with a bonus point. Kevin Musket issuing the last rights to move the club to within two points of the top six.